No one can deny that Groupon uniquely stood out in the list of innovative internet majors of the new century. Founded by Andrew Mason in 2008, the company broke barriers in the market with their group buying coupon system. Just three years after their launch, the company raised $700 million via an IPO at a valuation of $11.2 billion, which further jumped to $13 billion, making it an instant success story back then. That same year, Groupon entered the Indian market via an acquisition. The company was rebranded and called Crazy.com. This route was taken as group buying in India had already established itself on many fronts. Yet, just a year later in 2012, Groupon's stock crashed on the Nasdaq from its issue price of $20 to a record low of $4. This coupled with Groupon's failing to attract more businesses to partner with it led to weakened financial numbers. Now, with attempts to accelerate business in India, the company's CEO Ankur Variku has not only brought Groupon's brand name to the forefront, but has also started a strong ad campaign to take advantage of the failure of existing players to dominate this market. Yet, all isn't well for Groupon itself. Owing to its dismal financial numbers, the company ousted its founder and CEO Andrew Mason just four days after this interview was shot. VC Circle caught up with Ankur Variku to ascertain the company's three-category strategy and to get his take on why many Indian companies got the group buying mantra wrong. What is the environment? How are you seeing this market, the Indian market as a business play? It's a fantastic opportunity, I would say. When we came in, we were, we were not the earliest in the space. So there was a lot that had already happened. And I think the, at the time when we entered, the entire concept of uh, deals and group buying was at its peak and everyone was loving it so on. So for four right reasons. Yeah. Uh, but then quickly there was this yeah. turnaround and we, we, did, we did see some players exiting the space, some of them changing the business model, so on and so forth. But when we look at the, the market fundamentally, without uh, any bias or anything whatsoever, we see a massive service segment opportunity. India, Indian economy is driven by services. Yeah. And it would be foolish for anyone to expect that none of it would translate online. Okay. Uh, food and beverages is beautiful. Spa and wellness is beautiful. Healthcare is, is brilliant. All that is eventually got to translate online and there are enough people out there who are buying these things online as well because they're used to it. Yes. That itself is, according to our estimate, about a billion, billion and a half opportunity, in untapped in India, untapped. Right? There, are, there are people like you and I who want to do it, but there aren't enough places or avenues to do it. Groupon is beginning to be one of them. Uh, second is product, but product in a very different manner. It's all about impulse and it's all about you not knowing that morning that you made the purchase of what you wanted to buy, but we're just god awful struck by this brilliant deal that came through, it was a great thing that you perhaps wanted or never even wanted, but okay. it's drives on the impulse. And there's a certain category that lend themselves very well. Fashion is a great category, very impulsive. Okay. Home and kitchen is a great category, which is very impulsive. You don't set out to buy a pair of nice set, yeah. but if you see a great quality nice set and if you see it at a great price and you see it coming in 10 days and not necessarily the next day when you really want it because you never really wanted it, that's a great combination to be in. Okay. And third is travel. Hmm. If you go beyond ticketing, if you, if you go, even go beyond packaging uh, or packages in general, you would see that where people like you and I would spend most of their travel money is would be in getaways close to our cities. We would just want to go out for a certain weekend and that's impulse again. So yeah. if you see a great deal for a Lunavla or a Mahabaleshwar or a Neemrana or a Jaipur or a Masuri, uh, you would just say, hey, why not? Let's just go out. It's two days. It doesn't cost a lot of money because yeah. it's great value for money. And you all have been focusing on these three verticals, even on the website. So. Yes, 100% and all there. Yeah, and that's that's your main focus now, these that three verticals? This is just these three verticals continue dominating it. We might never become the biggest product e-commerce player in the country, but that's never the ambition as well. Okay. Our ambition is to become the de facto place for you to discover your life. Okay. I wanted to get into this uh, whole topic, you know, group buying suddenly became a big thing in India. Yep. You know, you saw many real estate platform companies online getting into that space. You saw other major players getting into that space. But then something didn't work out for them and it it's going down. True. What in Groupon's mind is working out for them and, you know, when you relate to these companies trying to get into that space, what do you see them not doing? I think they, they did not execute the business model well. So the fundamental reason of a concept like Groupon to exist is not customers, it's merchants. We are in business to help merchants acquire new customers. Okay. Everyone lost track of that. And that's when they went after the wrong things. Right? They, they started 
spending an obnoxious amount of money in marketing, they tried to do uh, what was a token price, which was all pro-consumer, but messed up the merchant side completely. Okay. Because what happened is, if you, let's say, do a token price, you would sell a huge number of vouchers, because what you're saying to the customers, don't commit. Yeah. Just express your interest, you might not even go there, and that's absolutely fine. But the merchant, at the end of it, received only 10% or 8% or even worse of all the vouchers that he had sold. Mm -hmm. So he said, hey, someone else has just made money off me while I haven't really necessarily got the benefit. Worse still, I've just become like a discount store in the eyes of millions of people, okay. which I never wanted to. Um, but that was one big thing, which completely changed the game for us. Because okay. when we came in, we said, hey, we have two options. We, we either can go with this very attractive seeming uh, seemingly attractive model of a token price, which uh, all the players are doing, but we stick to what our fundamental principles are, and we're glad we did that because we just realized who are in it, you know, who are we in it for. Was Groupon ever in this business of token price? Never, in never, never, never. So, in fact, when they heard of it in India, they're like, "Wow, that's 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 an interesting model. We don't know okay. how it'll work, mm -hmm. but intuitively, it doesn't seem to be the right thing to do because it's it's cutting you out in the long term." Okay, uh, but. You know, we can't judge Groupon's business in India just yet because it's still True. fairly early. True. But internationally, Groupon is facing a lot of trouble. Yeah. yeah. What would you say is not working out for the companies? I think it's, uh, no, as, as Andrew also mentioned in his statements, and it's all public, right? So we don't hide anything. Uh, we grew at a crazy pace. There haven't been too many companies, I won't be surprised if we're the only one, that have hit $5 billion in less than four years of existence. When you grow at that, you do tend to compromise on a few things. And I think those are coming back to us today. What were those uh, compromises? I think it's more about uh, how do we make sure that the scalability is there backed by technology, whether it's always about consumer, whether it's always about merchants, what are we really in it for, what's our modus operandi. So you will see that lately a lot of what Groupon has done has been about technology, technology, technology. We are creating technology to help our merchants understand their own promotions on Groupon much better than they were. Okay. So we are today, for instance, supplying merchants with data of where did the customers who bought their deals from came. Okay. Had they ever been to the merchant before or not? If they had, how many of them? What's the ROI of this promotion for you? What is the feedback that you're getting from those merchants? Will they recommend your place to someone else? All that feedback is now flowing into merchants in a way that makes them smart about the business. Okay. And we are now realizing that we have to, we had to do it all the time, but we possibly didn't do it as, as much as we had to in the past, and now we're, you know, it's, it's more like a back to basics. Thing. Okay. So uh, I think it was, a, it was a compromise of, of growth versus having the right infrastructure, uh, and there were decisions that had to be taken at that point in time that seemed right, uh, and now they're of course. Put, this, uh, put the performance of Groupon India into perspective. So what are the kind of targets that you are trying to reach by the end of next financial year? Sure. And uh, what kind of support will you need from the uh, parents? So uh, I can't comment on what our future projections are because we never make forward-looking statements. If I were to just look at the past, uh, India alone, the business has grown 5x okay. last year, uh, which is uh, which makes us one of the fastest, if not In the, the range fastest. Of? Uh, sorry? In the range of? Sorry. Right, so uh, right, so uh, what I can do is I'll, I'll tell you that the numbers around how you would measure business okay. are extremely positive. We have about a 48% repeat buying uh, share on the platform, which means okay. you are most likely to come back that same month itself of your purchase or within 30 days of your purchase. Our average transaction value for a deal site is extremely high at 1300 rupees. Okay. We're selling a voucher now in every less than 30 seconds. So that ticket price, the ticket size of 1000 rupees has gone to 1300. It's gone to 1300, right? So uh, we we are a deal site at the end okay. of it, but we're still selling things that are way above what even e-commerce players don't do okay. at 1300. And that's only because we, we're just smart about who we work with as a brand, uh, the curation that we do, the kind of offering that we create for the customer and the business, and then try and maximize our own returns on that while keeping the two parties happy. You said profitability by the end of 2013 on the course? Well. Uh, I, I would say that that's something that we are always conscious of. Uh, okay. It's very easy to get there okay. um, and we, we know how to get there. It's a question of whether we want to continue investing and make it a far sizable one or okay. we could just say, you know what, we want to be profitable and make the best out of it. So then that kind of puts uh, your dependence on the parent a little shaky because then you don't know what do you need more investments from them? Well, we, we, we already in investment mode. So uh, there's, there's no way that a one and a half year old country would have turned positive uh, okay. given the kind of competitiveness and the late entry that we have. Okay. So we continue to rely, but the parent company is extremely supportive. They believe that India is a strategic market. 
we have to be there. We have to win in this market. It's a massive, massive opportunity from a services perspective and products and travel. Uh, and uh, we have we have the support 100%. Will you be facing a lot more pressure now that currently the parent is facing pressure in the States? No, so does I, that onus shift to you in India? I, I, I think it hasn't translated into any country. No? Uh, it, it's a pressure that's more externally generated than anyone else's. Okay. Uh, internally, we know what we are going after. We know what our fundamentals are. We know what we have to do. And it's all about just getting that thing done with a single-minded focus on getting it done. So India has not seen any, virtually zero impact of anything that's happened globally. And okay. for the matter, even in the company, any movement of uh, stock price, anything, it doesn't affect who it is because we don't control it, so we don't think about it. What will your target audience be now? Because uh, Groupon as a brand name is still fairly strong in the urban sectors, True. but uh, you know, deals in India generally is a more mass market thing. True. So uh, how are you positioning the brand and how are you trying to, what is your strategy for it? So, uh, that's a very good question because uh, this was also one of the differentiations we wanted to bring in into our business. Even today, after almost two years, we are only in 10 cities. Okay. Uh, and that's a conscious choice. Okay. Because we know that we are limited by the quality of merchant supply in all the other cities that we would like to be in, but we cannot. Because do you really have an awesome merchant that we can run a deal with for 365 days a year? Mm. And for most cities outside these 10, the answer is no. Okay. And that's where we stopped. We could run a deal with anyone on the street, but that's not the business we have. Mm. So our target audience still remains largely urban. Okay. Um, 75% of our business still comes from the top five cities. Okay. Uh, however, the demographic is very different. It's largely 24 to 35 years of age, okay. while all the other deal sites are far younger. Yeah, uh, so the, uh, wh why, why is that? We why are you not targeting a younger audience? Because we, because we all know that that's not an uh, audience which is sticky for the merchant. Okay. They're not loyal. Okay. Uh, they still have to. No, it's it's what you and I were also when we were college kids. Right? Okay. Uh, we would just be looking at the best place to drink, uh, not being necessarily worried about where we go. Okay. Because at the end of it, it's just you know, you're you're short on cash, so you just want to maximize what your return is. Uh, but that's not what our promise to the merchant is. Okay. So we said we will get your customers who will love to come back, who will spread the good joy, who will really translate into business not just for that particular visit, but for future business as well. And uh, that's the 24 to 35 years of audience. So people who have started earning, they like fine life, they like to experience their city in a good way, they like discovery, and they like buying this on the Okay, so you started off uh, your India story with an acquisition, yeah? Yes. But uh, would that be the preferred route now? or is there, is there anything to acquire? No, I, uh, we're not looking at acquisitions at all. Right? There, there is so much to do within our own business right now. And we're not even scratching the surface. Considering many acquisition targets could be beating. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, but, but the, the idea is what do you get? You know? uh, that That's the key. And if I think of a business model, no, we know that we are a superior business model. No one else comes close. Uh, from a technology perspective, we are a global player. We have technologies no one is even thinking of for get replicating. And from a customer base, we know where we want to go. And as I mentioned, the overlap of our customer base with the others is not as significant as we would like it to be. So when you when you start thinking on those parameters, you suddenly realize the number of players okay. that could be open is not so. Real estate could not be a vertical for your career look at. We have tried some real estate deals. It's an interesting category, but honestly, it's not something which you can build your business on because uh, the the market is fairly offline. And if you think about it, it's even if it's online, it's a fairly organized nexus of brokers and builders that works and okay. gets the thing delivered. Yeah. Um, we have done deals in the past. In fact. We've even done automobile deals. Okay. Uh, we, we, went to, uh, we went to a large player, uh, uh, one of the largest in the country, and uh, they wanted to generate test drive leads for okay. their latest car. We helped them do that. Mm. Uh, so suddenly you realize, you're not sitting and selling a restaurant or a spa or something, you're virtually offering marketing solutions to anyone that you put, real estate included. Okay. Uh, is that a vertical for us? No. But is that something that we play? You've got to do a lot of work in terms of brand building in India. Now you started with a TV ad campaign which has been fairly likely. Yeah. But um, give us a little bit more elaborate idea of you know what could be seen more on the brand building side. Even the website now, the domain is yours. Yes. But you have mentioned that the legal battle is not over. Yes. What so remains in that front and Groupon.in. The yeah. domain name Groupon.in. We we are operating right now on Groupon.co.in. Okay. But we still do not have possession of Groupon.in. From a branding perspective, I agree, and it's been a conscious choice. So what we've done is we have consciously invested in what I would call 
experiential marketing, which basically means that we would always go for a slightly select audience profile and do a good job of it, then become very fast. Uh, <coughs> that also translated into the kind of communication we had with the ads. They were not your run of the mill discount deal site ads. They were very distinct, they had a humor element to it. They were targeting a certain kind of customer who would get it. Uh, and, and that was a conscious decision. In the past, uh, we're perhaps the only website that has done offline events in a big way. Uh, when, when the Dark Knight was released, yeah. we booked out all the 10 cities that we presented, one show across the biggest cineplex of India, and we had the deal running only for Groupon customers. So there was an entire hall of 450 seats only of Groupon customers who bought the deal at 50% off. And that was a great way for us to interact with them, get to know what their feedback on the site was, so on and so forth. We were also a first time experience for them to see a website doing this offline promotion for them. So it's stuck in their head. Okay. And we continuously keep doing such engagements on a regular basis, which proved to be very successful. What is the kind of contribution India can give Groupon Bell? And in terms of a revenue contribution, what percentage could India be? It's it's a it's a hard one, honestly. Uh, I would like it to be 100. percent The the reality is that uh, it, the focus is right now on growth. growth. Okay. It's such a massive market that for us to even think of contribution to the parent one would be a little too early. Okay. Uh, that's definitely part of the plan, but it's a it's a three to five year plan rather than okay. an immediate plan. But by the next uh, by the end of next financial year, how many cities do you want to be? I I. To be honest, I don't see it going beyond uh, even 11 or 12. Uh, we are very, very careful in selecting the cities that we enter. Uh, and it has to make sense for us because we want to do a good job. So uh, right now, the two cities that we are evaluating, we may enter them by the end of this year. Okay. But it might not All right. On that note, thank you so much for Thank you so much. Thank you.